Thank you for meeting me. Of course. Yeah. You got me coffee. Thank you. You take your coffee with milk? Yep. No sugar. No. <laughs> no sugar for me. We like the same coffee. And clothes. Yeah. I suppose that's not surprising given the circumstances. What do you mean? You don't need to pretend. I know. Garden has good taste. You pretty. No, Don't be I'm modest. not. Okay. I like it when a woman knows she's beautiful. Women nowadays? <laughs> they don't know how to walk in their room. A beautiful woman should walk into a room thinking, I am beautiful. And I know how to walk in these shoes. There's so little glamour in the world these days. It makes daily life such a bore. Women are responsible for enlivening dull places like train stations. And there is hardly any pleasure in waiting for a train. And women just walk in. Horrible shoes, bad posture, no confidence. A woman should be able to take out her compact and put lipstick on her lips with absolute confidence. <laughs> no apology. I guess I've always kind of been embarrassed to put on lipstick in public. That's crap. Here. You have beautiful lips. Thank you. It's okay. I don't... I don't have a cold. It's not about the germs. I just... I just put I it on. Take your time. Enjoy yourself. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh yes. Very nice. Wow. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. That was disappointing. Oh well. Listen, I'm really sorry about Gordon. You were his friend or something? Gordon didn't tell you much, did he? Gordon could be quiet. Yeah, he was he was a quiet guy. He must have respected you. He was quiet with the woman he respected. <laughs> Otherwise he had a very loud laugh. <laughs> you, you could hear him a mile away. You must wonder why I wanted to meet with you. Yeah. You see, Gordon and I, we were, you know. So I just want to know, I know it's going to sound sentimental, but I just want to know his last words. That's not sentimental. I hate sentiment. I really don't think that's sentimental. Like, it's really not at all. <clears throat> so, his last words. Gordon mentioned you right before he died. Well, he more than mentioned you, actually. He told me to tell you that he loved you. And then he just turned his face away and died. He said he loved me. Yeah. I was waiting for this such a long time and those words delivered through another woman. What a shit. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, no. It was, he said he loved a lot of women in his life. 
but he said that when he met you, everything changed. Other women were like clocks. They just measured the time, you know? But you stopped time. He said you stopped time just by walking into a room. He said that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, Carden. Aren't you gonna get that? Yeah. Hello? Hi. Yes. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. Okay. Okay. All right, yeah, I could be there in like 45 minutes. Let me touch up your lipstick before you go. Thank you. 